Okay. Uh, no changes since the last league. I think I've kind of got everything in numbers where I'm happy about it. Um, as far as the sideboard, the cards I'm most skeptical of are Endurance number three, Emrak Fool number two, and Besaju number four, but I don't really know what else I would want besides them. I think these are just the best sideboard cards and just trying to max out the numbers of the best sideboard cards. As far as the main deck, um, I'd really love to be able to fit in a Crumbling Vestige um, or a 10th Bounce Land. Um, so, like, there's an argument for, like, trimming a Beseju, there's an argument for moving a Cavern to the sideboard to, like, fit in a Vestige, um, there's an argument for, like, cutting the second Talaria West for the tenth Bounce Land, but I think the double Talaria West is kind of important in a list like this. Where, especially with that, how often you sideboard out Cult Fairy Colossus, this is really a Primeval Titan list. Like, it's really trying to play like a very traditional Amulet Titan list without sort of any real bells and whistles. I will keep bottom cavern, no, bottom basic forest. So I think there's a pretty reasonable chance that I might Azusa on turn two. How does that new, how does this new information change my opinion about that? I think I want to Azusa on two. So let's Summer's back. Zuza. Zagoth Trion. Trion. Opponent's doing something. But we don't know what. Scourge of the Skyclaves. Yeah, it looks like our opponent's trying to have fun in modern. Uh, sure, I'll play a Colossus with one land. Why not?
Can you handle my three threes and two fours? Probably. What if I besage you, your shardless agent? Damn, my only weakness, a creature bigger than 3-3. Three, three. If they attack with the Kavu, I will probably quad block it. Fury. I'm down for a triple block. Create a dryad for the Kavu. So I'll hold the cavern in hand in the event of like a discard spell. I don't know, anything's possible. They could Colgan's command me. Tribal Flames. So Red gets first strike, green blue gets trample hexproof. Might uh, besage you the scion. Now I'm definitely besaging the Scion.
don't think the Azusa does much right now. And I want to give myself as many draw steps as possible. Well, I'm dead. That is the danger with a list like this, is you do actually have to draw a Primeval Titan eventually, and if you don't, you will die. Uh, the Seijus seem reasonable, Radiant Fountain seems reasonable, the Juke Bog seems not where I want to be, Cavern seems not where I want to be. Try it like this. I'll keep. It's a little slow, but um, we can play Saga on two, and that sets us up for the turn four Titan. And there's a lot of ways that, uh, you know, it can be faster than turn four, depending on what we draw. Now what I want to draw. I'm going to hope they tap out so that I can Azusa into Titan. Because I think I want to haste this Titan. If not, you know, we can always just make a Saga token and play the Beseju. Or we can YOLO it, depending on how feisty we feel. That's not a bad draw. Think I'll play out the Seiju, just to be careful not to die to my own pact. I 
I don't think they're playing any counter magic, so I'm not going to play around any with this dismember. I guess if they have mutagenic growth, I look silly. New Cavu. Fury. Does not have trample though. We do not have crumbling vestige, so there's not really castle tricks. I guess we could castle, and that leaves open the chance of Colossus next turn, though. Like, if we just draw land, you know, maybe we want to Colossus. If we Colossus and hit a, let's see, wait, we can pay one, two, three, four. We only need to hit one more land and we can Titan next turn if we Colossus this turn. And if we hit a Bounce Land, we can replay Radiant Fountain, which is more life than what Titan provides. I guess Titan, we can Vesuva the Radiant Fountain though. Which is a guaranteed extra two life. We can also grab a Boros Garrison and pick up the Seiju. Which we can potentially Beseju a Shardless Agent. If we're worried about our life total. Which I kinda am worried about my life total.
Chartless Agent, okay. Croxa. Guess I'll discard the forest. Maybe I should just discard a pact. I feel like a tribal flames is probably like the main way I lose this game. Right now I'm just gonna play another Titan and haste it. It's probably fine either way, honestly. draw. Is there anything we want to change? Well, now that we know they have Kroxa, maybe Bajukabog is okay. Also helps pay for Dismember. How afraid am I of Kroxa? It's kind of annoying. Probably not worth the Bajukabog though. Hand seems solid. A little weak to force the vigor, but I mean, it would still just be trading one for one with a force of vigor while also ramping me. So I don't know, maybe this is the kind of hand that's actually resistant to force of vigor. Be more resistant if this amulet was like a grazer, I guess, but. Is it Kabu time? Tribal Flames face, okay. I can live with that. If we get forced, we can map for um, Castle Garen Brick. Okay, they got a Scourge. But if they don't have a for, okay, Fury. Fury will kill the Dryad. We still get to Titan, though. Guess I'll go for Azusa, since they only have one card in hand. There's not really much that can go wrong.
Okay, so I think I want to get Radiant Fountain... The Seiju here. My reasoning being one of the main ways I think we could lose this game from this position would be um, Damping Sphere, and now we could map for another Beseju end of turn, and then Beseju the Damping Sphere and pay for the Pact. Tribal Plains, my face, okay. It's a big scourge. Is there anything worth mapping for, really? I guess they're just dead, so it's not really all that important how anything happens. You have Valkut? <coughs> Why not? Kill them without even having to go to combat. Cool. Not a bad start. And see everyone for the next round.